It's called the Collegiate Church because there were a college of priests and the bishop is officially the warden of the college. The audio tour is new, it started in May and uh, the idea is that it's a grandfather showing his grandchildren around the church and about uh, the different things he's seen over the years and it's been uh, very popular this summer. It's an audio tour and then there's a whole interactive display. This is the chancel. The walls are original to the church, 1250, but there was no roof for a large part of the church's history until the Victorian Restoration. This is a, a quite an unusual feature. It's called a, an Easter sepulchre, and they were in every church in Ireland in the medieval period, but this is apparently one of only three or four left. This is the Boyle Chapel. It was uh, used for the burial place of uh, Richard Boyle, who was the first Earl of Cork. He uh, was here in a time of great prosperity in the town and uh, did a lot of work on the church. So these are the medieval town walls. They were erected uh, in the sort of uh, 1400s, 1500s. And they withstood the siege of Yule in the late 1640s when the town was besieged for about three months by forces uh, loyal to Charles I. The town would have been held by the Cromwellian forces. The siege was unsuccessful in the end. They had to go away again. We do a lot of um, managing the grounds for wildlife. So there are a lot of native trees and uh, plants here as well. And we're really trying to develop the churchyard for biodiversity. Of course, we've lost all the foreign visitors, the new Americans and, and the continental Europeans this summer, unfortunately, but no doubt there's been a huge increase in the number of Irish people uh, coming to see both the church and Yule itself.